Are devoted marauders of Slanesh any good? Now that I've reached the final Monogod faction, we're going to do a lot more comparing. A lot further adieu, because Dieu is God in French and for Chaos Gods are plenty. Let's dive into the nitty gritty. The basic marauders for Slanesh are recruited for 450 gold and 112 upkeep, coming in at a standard 120 entities and 9360 health. Armor is 15 with bronze quality shields, 35% missile block chance. Leadership is 60. Speed 40. Melee attack 34. Attack interval 3.9. No splash damage. Melee defense 28. Weapon strength 28, split between 21 base and 70 AP, and the charge bonus of 18. All the Sunesh versions have immunity to psychology, 5% physical resistance, increased speed, and strider to ignore movement penalties like in water or forests. A quick swap to the other Marauders. The Sunesh ones are ever so slightly more expensive than their peers, no doubt because of the benefits of the mark per above. Also, the attack interval is somewhat faster. Now, is it really an animation difference being accounted for, or are they really just meant to be faster? You tell me. Really, feel free to comment about your experiences. In fact, let's bring up the basic Marauders for comparison. The Sunesh ones have their advantages, but it's a significant cost difference. Now, Devoted Marauders with Spears cost 500 to recruit and 125 upkeep. I'll focus only on the differences. Of course, you get Charge Defense versus Large and Charge Reflection from having Spears. I asked last time, where's your anvil? Well, this is an anvil, the most basic one available. Melee attack is a more restrained 28 with attack interval 4.1, with 32 melee defense and weapon strength 25, split 20 base and 5 AP, with a bonus versus large of 50. It's pretty simple math. Charge bonus is only 6. Now, these marauders don't get devastating flanker anyway. It's just to say, here's an anvil unit in the Slanesh roster, treasure it. The Hell Scourge's variant is interesting. 550 to recruit, 138 upkeep. Here we have 30 melee attack but with poison, a post-launch change. Attack interval is a healthy 4. Melee defense is a solid 38 with weapon strength 30 split between 26 base and 4 AP, so it's not good against armor. Charge bonus is 18. Now, something that's very curious about this unit is that it also has a charge defense versus large and charge reflection. The latter may not be all that good against armored opponents, but the former makes this an absolutely legitimate anvil unit by itself too. You can have it pull that duty and just rely on the poison and the melee defense to bog down the opposition. I am not saying it's the only option, but the fact you can do it is very interesting, because face tanking with the regular marauders is not a good idea at all. In the red line skills, Hellish Stride grants a maximum of plus 8 armor and plus 8% speed for the marauders, which is interesting, but also denies them the more basic buffs. Acolytes of Hedonism grants rank 7 Marauders, plus 5 Leadership, plus 5 Melee Defense, and 10% Physical Resistance. So these units are at least tankier as you go. In the tech tree, Decadent Apostles grants minus 10% upkeep, plus 6 Melee Attack, something missing from those redline skills, and enables Soporific Musk, which is a defensive contact effect inflicting minus 5 melee attack and melee defense every time an entity in the Marauder unit is hit. So the units become weirdly tanky on top of their speed and decent end stats for prolonged brawling. As for how you use the Marauders, given that there are three variants and they are well explained, we'll keep it short. The plain devoted Marauders are aggressive with enough of a charge bonus, you should send them at any flank that looks good, if available, and just use them as the cheap fodder they are. Spears should be used to break charges and keep enemy large stuff honest, bogging the heavy stuff down, and slashing to ribbons the light. The Hell Scourges do double duty, and as any skink will tell you, poison is never wrong. This is why they're the most expensive. In a pinch, absolutely use them to block off a cavalry charge and serve as anvils for your flanking demons to work around. Take care, and have fun marauding! It's not just a unit name, it's a way of life.